Hey fellas, how are you doing? I'm iRule399. Welcome to my GTA 5 chat show. Today we're going to be talking about two discs, not three. Now, for whatever reason, yeah, I got it into my head that GTA 5 would have to have three separate discs in order to play it fully on Xbox 360. Because, right, hear me out here, it may sound like a lot, three discs, you know, I don't know of any other game really that does that, there probably is, I'm just not a huge, you know, variety of gamer, so I don't really know. I know Max Payne 3 had two, uh, L.A. Noir. no, L.A. Noir, I think had three for the Xbox. Was it there? Yeah, because that was a three separate part story. Yeah, you're right, okay, there is one that did that. But I thought GTA 5 would have to do that for whatever reason, because either the map was too big, um, you know, you got to install the map on one level, and then you've got one for part one of the story, one for part two, and then you've got multiplayer or whatever. Yeah, that's what I, I, I kind of gathered, because it does look like a really, really big game, doesn't it? GTA 5 is huge, and we, we can just tell that by looking at a lot of the different screenshots, the, you know, the, the trailers, whatever we've been given so far, we know the game's going to be very, very big. For Rockstar to be able to get it onto two discs shows several different things. Okay, they've almost perfected the Rage Engine that they use in order to, you know, create the game. Because I thought, you know, if you remember back on GTA 4, yeah, it was a quite a small map in comparison to what we're going to be seeing, and it also didn't have as good of a graphics. Every time they've gone forward and used the engine, it's been, yeah, it's been developed, been made better, been made more efficient, and that's what they're essentially doing. They're being able to get more out of what they've they've got, but it's still the same. If that makes sense, you know, it's the same. Engine, but they're getting more out of it. They have said, however, that they've had to use virtually everything available from the Xbox, and it, it kind of does worry me a little bit because, I mean, me and GTA men were talking the other day. We were saying, you know, if you re remember in GTA 4, if you've got a uh, driving along in a really fast vehicle of some kind and you crash, you could be crashing on thin air because what you've actually crashed on hasn't rendered yet. And if they're pushing the Xbox to its limit, that could be a problem in terms of, you know, is stuff going to render properly? PS3, it's not really a big deal because it's, of course, got the Blu ray disc, it can uh, hold a lot, uh, a ton more in comparison to what the Xbox can. And the thing is, they're old consoles now, they're, you know, they're not as up to date as they probably could be, and, uh, you know, they will have their little things. But I think it, the, the installation will probably be a, a good thing because a lot of the, the stuff that would probably need to uh, be done on the fly will be done in the disc that we've got in the tray all the time and the stuff that's installed will be the stuff like the map perhaps the multiplayer stuff whatever it is anything that we need will already be there on that disc on the installation on the xbox already so you've not got to constantly be going oh where is it is it here is it there it's already all there so i think uh, you know two discs instead of three is probably quite good i like it's essentially one disc you've got that initial installation which is about eight gigabytes i think which people are complaining about. Dude, if you're complaining about 8 gigabytes, it's it's a lot. I know a lot of Xboxes might not have that, but if you're one of these people that have a hard drive mounted on, just delete a few things or go out and buy a USB to plug it in on. I mean, I'm not even kidding, man. What does a USB cost these days? Uh, you, you can get them relatively cheap. If you're out being able to buy a, uh, GTA 5, you can probably save that little bit more for a, a disc to install it on or whatever. So yeah, that's that. I really like the idea of what what it's got. A lot of people seem to think, especially with Max Payne 3 for me, I got really into the game. And I mean, every night I came home and I was playing that game. It was the game of choice. I didn't make any videos about it for the most part. It was just a, a game that I played in my leisure time. Once you had stopped and you were told to take out the disc, put another one in, it does kind of break the immersion a little bit. I mean, it, it's not a, a huge deal for me, but I can understand how for some people it can be quite frustrating. And a game like GTA, which is open world, would probably be very, very uh, difficult to engineer in terms of swapping discs and when to swap them and make them when you swap them really well. I mean, what do you think? Two discs, uh, essentially one, you've just got to plug one in. What do you think? I mean, I'm my rule three and nine. I like the idea of everything that's GTA 5. So, yeah, I've got a video coming up on Jehovah's Channel tomorrow. If you're looking forward to that, you know, uh, keep an eye on my Twitter. There is a link to that in the description as well as on Facebook. Uh, there's a discount code in there for Control Freak as well if you're interested. I know I said I wasn't going to say much about it, but because I'm sponsored now, I may as well plug it every now and then. But uh, the thing I want to get away from this video from you is what do you think about the disc situation for GTA 5 and could they have done anything differently? Either way, I'll see you in a bit.